CSEA stands for Certified in Strategy and Competitive Analysis, and it's a new IMA certification that could be right for you. Not sure? I'll shed some light on it for you in this video today. The IMA is responsible for the CMA certification, which most of us know establishes you as a business leader in finance and accounting. Now, the IMA has created the CSCA as a next step for ambitious people who want to make it big and stand out. Hey there, I'm Nathan from CMAExamAcademy.com. We help candidates like you pass the CMA exam the first time. So the name itself tells us a lot. The CSCA is about strategic thinking and competitive analysis. These are tasks usually performed by high-powered executives, which is another clue at the types of people the IMA thinks will pursue this credential. And here are the basics. The CSCA is available to people who have passed both parts of the CMA exam. Because it's offered by the IMA, you will also need your IMA membership to be current. The CSCA is being called a big picture certification, and here's what we know about the program so far. It will include a three-hour exam that has 60 multiple choice questions and a case study. Recommended study time for the exam is 40 to 75 hours. You can earn up to 51 professional education units by studying for the CSEA exam. Now, the exam will be offered annually in March and September. In addition to the price of your IMA membership, here's what the CSEA will cost you if you decide to pursue it. A $75 program entry fee, a $300 exam registration fee, $249 for the IMA CSCA study course. So, all right, let's recap real quick. The CSCA is offered by the IMA. You need to be a member of the IMA as well. You need to pass both parts of the CMA exam. You need to take the CSCA exam as well, which is a three hour long and offered in March and in September. In addition to your IMA membership, it will cost you about $625 total. Some of you are probably already Googling furiously, so I have to ask, do you see yourself going after this new certification? Drop a comment below because I would love to know. Of course, the CACA does look like a great way to boost your resume and give you an open door to high-powered positions. According to the IMA, the CACA is geared toward two sets of people professionals who already work in finance and accounting, and people who are pursuing a CMA and aim to work in finance and accounting. If you are already there or working toward it, the key distinction is this. Do you want to grow in your strategic abilities and position yourself for a future in leadership? Here's what I think. Professionals in accounting have more opportunities than ever but they also face a ton of competition. Because of the uptick in remote work, you're now competing not just with accountants across the street from you, but around the world. To stand out in a market like that, you need highly specialized credentials like the CMA and the CSCA, which could give you that extra boost to get your resume to the top of the pile or make you the obvious pick for a good promotion. Now, in a minute, we're going to talk about the remote CMA because it's big news in our world. But first, let me recap. The Certified in Strategy and Competitive Analysis Certification, or CSCA, is now offered by the IMA. You need to already have passed the CMA exam and be a current IMA member. If you meet those criteria, you can register for and take the CSCA exam. But remember, CSCA exam study can count as continuing education, which is what you need anyways to maintain your CMA certification. My goal in sharing this with you is to make sure you have every opportunity to succeed. And if you're still working towards your CMA, I invite you to download a copy of my free CMA exam cheat sheet. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button and bell icon so you get notified every time there's important CMA related news like this in this channel. So I'm curious to know, how are you feeling about this new certification? We'll talk more about it in the comments and on social media. And if you're still on your CMA journey, I also want to make sure we talk about the CMA going remote. 
So watch this video next for all of the details on that and how you can take the exam remote or still do it in person. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.